What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? We're here to talk about Terra Luna Classic. So let's kick this off. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. All right, guys, U.S. bankruptcy judge Brennan Shannon has ruled that the legal costs were unnecessary appropriate for Terraform, uh, but the Dentons agreed to send back $48 million of the $166 million, uh, holding on to $118 million for legal costs for Terraforms fighting the SEC. Now, uh, we'll see uh, what happens, and we'll keep you updated as these things kind of break themselves out. Also, uh, this, be alert. There is a Terra Luna Classic airdrop get ahead in the crypto game uh, with free tokens. That looks to me to be a scam. I don't know this person. Never heard of this. There's nothing here that would tell me that this is a legitimate thing. Uh, and even if you go to Dow Maker, it's not Dow Maker. It's Dow Dash Maker. So I would stay away from this. And anybody that you know looking for Terra Luna Classic, it's a Medium article. It legitimately just popped up. And I have concerns because I don't know anything about a giant airdrop for you to become part of the Luna Classic Society. So make sure you exercise precautions and your own due diligence. Now look at what's going on station for voting. And let's do some price action. All right, guys, no change here. We still got the reinstate 5%, still kind of running its way through here. Uh, maybe some last second votes might take it over the threshold. It does not look like it's going to pass. It looks like the uh, your 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 validators are stabbing you in the back one more time uh, to ensure that they maintain control. And if you're not paying attention to that and you're not unstaking and staking with people who will vote in your better interest, then I think that's foolish, but you do you, boo-boo. Also, uh, price action, uh, we still have its, its downward downward trajectory on volume continues. A billion market cap is kind of where we're sitting, USTC, still around the 315 million range. Uh, volume is up a little bit, but you know, a serviceable amount, $50, billion, $50 million or so. All right, guys, now let's go look at the price action and let's wrap this up in a pretty bow. And you know, I think we're still in the range that we talked about uh, just the last time. All right, guys, as you can see right here, uh, nothing really has fundamentally changed. Let me move this thing around just a little bit uh, to make it look a little prettier, um, you know, like this. But we're really in this ascending wedge waiting for that breakout. And we don't know when the breakout's going to be. Remember, about $110 billion bled out of the market yesterday before most of it came back in almost immediately. And we're having another pump today. So uh, I think we're fine. But I think that, you know, it's just a matter of time before something breaks out. Now, the other part to this is a wedge could also break to the bottom. So, uh, you know, don't take it for granted that we're just going to continue in this range. Now, on the lower time frames, you can see here, by the way, uh, something important to point out is that money flow has become a negative And we've had the RSI crossover with the signal line. So I would be a little bit concerned about it, but not too much uh, on the four hour. Uh, you can see here that we've kind of moved through the cycle of money outflow and we're trying to get into a positive flow, if you will, uh, on on these signals. Right. Uh, so we had this nice sort of consolidation right here. Uh, red, 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 red. But it's getting tinier and tinier and tinier. It looks like the flip is about to happen. You can see that with the signal line uh, and the RSI. So probably about to break over and it looks like it's it's set to break. Uh, towards the upside. Now, on the lower time frames, on the lower time frames in the one hour, you can see that we've crossed over a couple times into tiny pumps, but nothing on a larger time frame. So we've still got some some hourly moves that are still looking good, if you will. But we're waiting for that next big breakout, and you know, big breakout looks like this. That's when the money flow starts to really move, and it's when this uh, RSI crosses over the signal and it just starts moving upwards. So that's what we're looking for. That seems to be the way it's trending. So make sure you check this out. Also, uh, and in closing, guys, right now, this moment, this is the time to increase your crypto portfolio. You're probably not going to want to cash out for at least another year. You're probably not going to want to cash out at least for nine months. The top of this market is not coming for another year and a half, 18 months, maybe even two years. In that period of time, what you want to do is have as much of your crypto as you possibly can. And that's where cryptonomy.finance comes in. That's where you stake in order to earn more yield. Take these fixed rates over here, grab your favorite crypto, I'm going to go in on a little bit of shit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to convert this over to Bitcoin. I'm going to use 0.2 Bitcoin and I'm going to do this for 12 months. I'm going to earn 100% more SHIB than I currently have 
That's all it took for me to make this happen. Now, the big money, the big money is not from the fixed. The way that you get more is right here. It's all of these launches. This launch pool right here, this is the place to make a lot of money. So go check out cryptonomy.finance today. Tell them Believe sent you. I hope you tuned in to the uh, 10 a.m. I hope you tuned in to the 11 a.m. Uh, Lunk Live because Weeks Official was there. And if you were paying attention and you listened, then you learned that Weeks will now agree to burn Luna Classic on every buy and sell. Now, why is this important and why does this matter so much more? By the way, uh, this is Mr. Diamond Hands. So if you want to, make sure that you're following Mr. Diamond Hands. Set yourself a reminder, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Or go check it out. It will be a recorded space. And now you have a place, another place in which to burn Luna Classic. Now, we've uh, worked with Weeks for a little while getting this together. It's been since 2018 that they launched. They seem to be a small but uh, dedicated exchange. And they've agreed to the burn parameters that are outlined in that discussion there. And if you want to burn Luna Classic, it is your choice to burn Luna Classic. They've made an agreement that this is what they will do and they want your volume. So uh, I, I'm not recommending that you use a centralized exchange for your trading, but I know that a lot of you do and a lot of you will and currently use something like MEXC. I see the trading all the time because you chose me as a partner. So I'm asking you this time in the link in the description below, there's a new partner, Weeks. So if you want to help and contribute to the burn with Luna Classic, make sure that you sign up at the listing down below and boom, you're um, helping the burn process. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's not financial advice. My name is Blaze and Marge, right? Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.